Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm being kicked in the teeth by chrysalids. This is pretty much a do or die mission because we need to stop the advent uh, progress and if the prime team that we're going to field can't do it, uh, this is going to be rough. I don't uh, see how uh, we would get out of this predicament elsewise. Operation Gilded Crone. Uh, we'll fight uh, against a couple of nasty enemies, mostly uh, Elite Purifier, Lancers, a couple of Heavy Mechs, which isn't that bad. Enemy Unknown is potentially the Gatekeeper, Mutant Prime, uh, Elite Troopers, all of those are fine. Uh, we have put enough shredding together. Namri can shred, uh, Zukuber can shred very well. Um, we're running with two Mimic Beacons, because I don't know what we're going to find. We're also running with one um, Ghost Grenade, just in case. I need to make myself invisible, um, go to the objective and get the F out of there. So that could be a uh, potential solution as well. Not the best one, but it could be one. But I'm actually intending to fight this out, as the Prime Team is ready to... Um, to Mingle, uh, we have spent some time in just upgrading our main soldiers, so let's see how well they would keep up with the content. Good, we're trying to play to win here. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. A little armor stacking and hit point uh, training paid off. We're actually decent, uh, we actually have decent stats on all, all of our soldiers. Um, tell you what, Confirmed. let's have Sue Cougar. Take a prime spot over here in full cover. Wrong planet Location takes the high ground. Memory goes into the front line. Taurus helps. No need to in full cover. I can make it. And we got ourselves a nice little fire line. Hearing a door and another one, which means charging in might result in us triggering multiple packs, which we really don't want. And there's definitely another pack. There's definitely another pack over here. That would be the easy way. It would deal with the Prime, one of our biggest problems. I think I'm actually going to do that even if it means that number one, two of the Advents won't be affected and number two, I might not be able to use that on the Archon King, who I suspect is going to be here. So yeah, relatively heavy utilization of grenades with the first pack, but my logic is let's get them out of the system, so to speak. Have a strong start and then we can take it from there. Kill. Ah, 
Nice hit, by the way. Your cockbite could go in, but it's so risky. <sighs> we have Mimic Deacon, so... Let's do this. to leave you beauties uh, to your own devices that changes things quite a bit okay okay make sure that this guy is burning scanner uh, and that actually might be the solution to many of our problems here because it counters uh, the stupid uh, the stupid chrysalids I'll save the dual strike for a bit later. Together we are strong. Let's get rid of these guys. This has turned into a bit more than I bargained for. Eh, I think we're fine right there. Okay, well, I'd say we're just going to parry here and stand our ground. There is another advent pack. Interesting, because that advent pack will help us to get rid of all of the chrysalids. Good. Uh, what am I going to do with Hogbite? I think I want to trigger that other uh, pack. Now these guys can deal with uh, the uh, stupid Chrysalids, I don't care. Let's do this. 
For all I care, we're hitting that heavy armor. Putting an advanced teamwork up there. <clears throat> Getting that guy down. Almost. Armor still holding. And they are have tactical analysis, so we're actually not too bad off. Four to five points of damage. There is a chance that I could kill him, but yeah, let's not do that right now. They can deal uh, with all of the problems here. I think what I would want to do is just get really far away. Um. If a ghost now, the ghost will not be fully charged. Let me think that through. Could kill, move out, and then continue to move out. Mm. I'll just move to there. We're going to do some teamwork. <clears throat> and yeah, let's put a ghost up front. Okay, so far that worked out well. This here will be anti-chameleon. <clears throat> I don't think that we need it for anything else. Reload Overwatch. And we're moving over here for another overwatch. So now the core question is, do we want, or how bad do we want to kill this guy? I potentially would argue we're just going to move a tiny bit further back, stay here, and uh, just leave it. It's good. Mimic Beacon, the chameleon that is out there will need to deal with it. All of these guys only have one turn anyways. And might as well let them fight against the chrysalids. Seventy hit points. We need shredding on her. The elder send more than weapons. At least we know where they are. Okay. That's a lot of respawns. Enemy. 
And they do have dodge on top of it, wow. Okay, well those are advents now. And I promise you we're going to see a lot of enemies. That's another advent pack. Okay, listen. <clears throat> Time to pull the Reaper card out. That's one. And we're slowly building up focus again. Not quite needs that. That's two. That infector is starting to get on my nerves. Good damage. Six points, five to six, no. Funnily enough, his auto pistol almost deals as much damage as his normal strikes. Good, we're at full focus. And we're continuing to clear up one of these lower life forms. Uh, the idea is to really keep all of this here together. Have a couple of overwatches and so on and so forth. Did you see that one? But I want to get the chameleons down. So we'll definitely start with peppering them with a couple of shots. Good, moving slightly back. Free reload, um, Overwatch, Overwatch, and let them just duke it out, really. Oh, come on. 
Just hit that thing. You do have micro missiles. Why wouldn't you use those? Too much armor. We, you guys need to shred the queen. Those little one hit points here and there are really not doing much. Lots of chameleons. unfortunately regenerating and I think she has a pretty mighty regeneration here at 10 uh. calls for the hive okay are you are kidding me right all right let's let's swarm the guy with um, blade storm please Okay. Stupid chameleons. Still dealing with the super heavy turrets. should take out most of them. At least we got a promotion. That's not bad. Eh? Let me see. Is eight points enough to? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Good. We're definitely parrying here. Gets that swarmer down. Not too shabby. Could kill another swarmer. Free reload. Um. I think the right call here is definitely to stun this guy, that way he can't hide, okay, and that means we can actually get it down. Alright, free reload. Okay. 
Good, solid damage. I like how every weapon finally deals a little bit more damage. Like 5 to 7 is so much better than 4 to 6. Believe it, it, it is really, really, really good. question here is can we plant the C4 I'm wondering if we could stand here for one turn and hold that position, which is not impossible. It is possible. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives off very strong psionic readings. <laughs> Okay, so, well, the Hive can deal with all of uh, these guys. Oh, plenty of enemies. Look, I could position myself back here and then run in next turn. Do I have an even better place to hide? No, that would be a terrible place. Yeah. If the Templar goes dies, he dies. It is what it is. But I think most of uh, the enemies can start to deal with uh, the Hive first. And vice versa, the hive can deal with most of the enemies. Oh yeah, hit it. Very nice. That could be a kill. Is it going to haunt me that I didn't kill this guy first? Unbelievable. This is an interesting setup, ain't it? You need to shred her. If you don't take away the armor, she's going to overpower you. There you go. That's shredding right there. Finally. Feral Hive. Did she just take over all of the chrys uh, chrysalids? Yeah. Okay, cool. increase 
All right, realistically speaking, um, we're going to see a, uh, a face off between the Hive and Advent, and whoever is left over, we're going to deal with. In the meantime, we're just keeping our position here. Can't really do much about that. Uh, listen, I think we could get that ripper down. points of damage is massive shred this guy down to seven which means hogbite can do his thing Unfortunately for us, we don't have any ghost anymore. That would have really been the easy way out of here. Lots of overwatch. Enemies still need to deal with the queen. And she, on the other hand, still has armor left over. Micro missiles? Oh, that'll be interesting. Now the queen falls right through the rooftop onto everyone and now all bets are off let's just make sure the queen isn't fleeing Because then we would have a problem. We have um, aggroed quite a few enemies. I'm very much counting on them fighting the queen first. Chrysalid Hive Queen has just frozen herself. What a stupid maneuver. Pfft. Okay, that was one of uh, the wackest maneuvers that I've seen in a while. to fight the queen at the moment she's what's keeping us in the, in this game hawk by this being our scouts the front line 
Yeah, sucks. Uh, I was definitely expecting a bit more. Queen is being hit multiple times. And is now starting to burn on top of it. And is now being shredded on top of it. We need to kill Advent. Plenty of them. I don't think that the Queen will be strong enough to do it herself. On the other hand, we have a super solid position, so I wonder if it might make sense to use our sniper and a bit of frontlining. She just escaped. Fabulous. Which means there is a very, very small amount of actual enemies uh, left over. And we need to deal with all of the advent. Beautiful. Doesn't help if the mutants retaliate. Okay, we're going to stand our ground here. I think we have a decent position overall, but at the same time, I think I could kill a couple of enemies. will kill the mech. Which finally goes down. Before we're moving out. Let's kill this guy as well. The Elite Lancer is a good idea.
moving away as far as I can. No mimic beacon yet. I think we're okay. Let's see. Nice little blade, some retaliation. Let's miss. Not sure why he poisoned the gatekeeper, but okay. That's a kill. Thanks to the previous setup. Please use micro missiles. That's okay as well. They posted their numbers. More chrysalids, who would have thought, right? Complete shocker. I need the feral hive to grow a pair of balls and start attacking. Yes, thank you. Shred, rupture. Hmm. Okay, I need to take a short break. I'm wondering if it would be just more clever to use the ghost grenade, let uh, hop by charge in, found the C4 and get out. It's not a worst idea ever. It's not the worst idea ever. So this guy is set up. Can we kill it? 11 to 13, not 100% sure. It depends. I mean, Hogbite, if he was to charge in, he's one short. Could move up, throw. How far can you throw them? Oh, pretty far. I uh, hope I could actually kill a couple and then use the last momentum in order to get there. You know, I like the idea. Let's try that. Getting this guy down. 
reset into another shot setting up the Mac yep maximum damage even kills it That's one, one good hit. Back online. That's a kill. By the numbers. Um I'm thinking what the best way of getting hotbot that grenade is to move to here. That's potentially three hits. Move over to here, which would be literally zero. Standing in the open sucks a bit, but it's not the end of the world. Run and gun. Ghost grenade. All right. Hogbite moves in, and we're good to go. Yeah, the last few chrysalids are going to die now. Good hit, fabulous hit. And that was a really good parry. You are kidding me. You're not standing on that actual spot. Oh no. Hit the guardsman. Hit the guardsman. That's the wrong one. Dude. Wow. What a clutch save. Uh, 
I feel betrayed in ways unimaginable for me so far. Well, we're going to need to do that the hard way. Which is, go through all of the motions here. We'll come to Hawkbird in a second. Can't believe it, really. Well, there is a very small chance. If this is critting, is this going to kill him? Not sure. But we gotta figure it out. Come on. take that opportunity Status 15 status confirmed X4 charges are armed move to the extraction point for immediate evac Um We could hit a big fat grenade into the back line here. That would solve a lot of our problems. How far can I shoot? Not far enough to hit them. take one overward shot but in the grand scheme of things Hawkbite is not deterred by one overward shot Second overward shot, I stand corrected. Good move to here. Um, which I think it isn't bad. Full cover here wouldn't be bad either. Full cover here would be pretty damn good. Forty percent chance to hit her. I want to make sure Mimic Beacon is out there. That way the enemies can start going for it. Good hit, I like it. Killing the boa. Now that was good. 
even regaining concealment. Good, very good. Uh, since we're not going to stay long, might as well dual strike and get that purifier. Reload Overwatch. We're doing fairly well, all things considered. Might even be able to win this, but who knows. There is no need to like go ultra ham and risk the life of our soldiers. Okay, Feral Hive is fighting against the remaining Advents. Go to extract all soldiers, that's go to, uh, going to happen now. But makes a statement here. Good. So who does uh, did not have a uh, promotion yet? I think Taurus did not have one, which means this might be it, or not. I think Sukuger so had one. Long Planet is already promoted. Nemri definitely got one. Good. I think we made a statement. And all things considered, that worked out actually quite well. We had like what, 10 enemies left. And there's a, there's a good chance that we could have done it because we split them up far enough and they were kind of coming in in drops of one to two which is okay but really other than bragging rights what am i uh, going to get out of it we already got the majority of our xp from killing the reinforcements we got the mission which is by far the most important thing and we got everybody out alive which i need to really really strongly focus on And Zukuga was the only one not promoted. Interesting. Good, listen. Namri does have assault uh, rifle shreds armor. I think that is super much needed. Hold position. Zeva will reload their weapon before entering special overwatch. Firing on any enemy in range that moves or attacks with covering fire. Must be in full cover to activate. Hmm. That plus combat awareness, actually not too bad. 
Zeppa may equip heavy weapon regardless of armor worn. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, we're taking Shredder for now. And we'll leave it there. I need more points as we progress. Body locks. Field Medic may use medkit charges to apply combat stimulants, significantly boosting uh, combat effectiveness for two turns. I don't know what significantly boosting means. Duration, combat stats boost to 10%. 25% damage resistance isn't bad. Target immediately gains movement uh, point and will be granted one additional movement action at the beginning of each turn. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. Burst fire fires a series of bursts uh, with a chance to hit them twice. That's also not bad. Entering a special form of overwatch where the field medic will fire on any enemy in range before they complete a hostile action and disorient. Ooh. Oh, that is good. And we did have covering fire, so trigger is always. That is actually quite good. Armed intervention. Let's go for an armed intervention. Boys, let's go. Your team did a commendable job in destroying the alien's facility, Commander. Their efforts towards the Avatar project will undoubtedly be set back by your incursion. Very good. Let's uh, see. It worked out pretty well. We're back in, in the game, boys. Destroyed uh, the facility in Mexico. And that means also six weeks of not needing to care about it that much. So what's our next big plan? We need Intel. Lots of intel. So, nature start uh, gathering intel, really. Defense facility now operational. Cool. Defense metrics, huge upgrade for us. And we're doing quad turrets, plus, we're staffing an engineer there. The reason why that is a huge uh, upgrade for us is in case of any shutdown, this will be uh, the campaign saver. Four more soldiers and I think the weapons of the turrets are actually upgraded. Not that I would want to be shut down, don't get me wrong, but uh, that would be uh, the solution. Experimental heavy weapons, I'm wondering Hmm. Hmm. Look, if Namri could get a big fat experimental weapon, like a blaster or a shred storm, that would not be bad. That would be potentially one of the few things that we could uh, that we could take. That really would make a difference. Okay, let's just try it. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Let's just try it. Why not? Good, people are recovering from the wounds, which is good. No negative, uh, mm, no negative trades remaining on anyone that's good and we're getting a supply drop failed a lot of missions and she can now enter overwatch which is bad oh no undying loyalty please no oh no have mercy lord no, I don't. Don't do undying loyalty. I mean everything else, but but undying loyalty. 
Oh no, that is bad. Uh, really bad. Like on a scale from one to bad, ultra bad. Good, boost, inventions helped us once so far. It's cool that if the ghost dies, everybody else gets vengeance, so that's a, ni a neat little interaction that I didn't appreciate. Might even work for hacked units. I think we're good. Skirmishers are yours. 500 supplies, okay. Well, next big step is into the fire to finish that. And these findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. That uh, we already uh, we already had the breakthrough. Let's do the Spectre autopsy. Referred to by our troops, just to get more most of my breakthroughs. Chip development process was on the theoretical side. Can't help but feel some degree of and I, th yeah, I think we should also. When intently focused on a singular since I have the most important breakthrough already, let's maybe start with the Codex Brain, uh, so that we get all of the locations on the map. Uh, typically, the Golden Path missions will start in an area that you haven't yet gotten a connection to. So what that means is you really want to make sure that uh, you research them first and then you kind of expand. Um, volunteering army wouldn't be too bad. Actually would be quite good. We have the intel to go there and then we could get the supplies and continue making contact. I think Avenger we're doing on that. Plus one soldier, even if it is just a volunteer, might uh, make the difference between winning and losing. And that's a problem. Only soldiers of sergeant rank are allowed on this mission. Okay, that's an insta loss of that area. I Can we upgrade our resistance? No, we don't have the resistance comms yet. <laughs> Not good because I wanted to do the little trick where we are making contact before losing this area. This will suck. Because I don't have the intel to immediately make contact. This is a lost mission, I can already tell. How am I supposed to go up against Chrysalid Queens? Advent forces have a reduced presence uh, with a quote-unquote skeleton crew, but um, 25. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are unaware, low-profile side trip is wrongly implemented. I wonder why there was never a kind of a mod to fix it. Uh, the quote-unquote skeleton crew, they forgot to reduce the numbers, so essentially you're just fighting with low-ranking uh, soldiers against the same amount of hardcore enemies. Um, Look, I'll try to save it, um, but uh, 25 does not look very good to me. It looks like this is going to be a big fat L for us, and we have to take it, but I might be wrong. However, on the bright side, I mean, just the, the, the overall kind of state of the game, we're back in business, we got a breakthrough, we got tactical analysis, which I appreciate. Our prime team actually surprisingly well uh, was able to uh, keep up with the enemies. Even the spawns uh, were mowed down substantially. Uh, the prime team 
I mean, I, I put everything, every single point, every uh, every mission, and the good equipment into them. So it's not surprising that they are much better than the other teams. But we're at the point where a normal team just frankly isn't cutting it anymore, unless I find some Cheeserino uh, tactic to get us through. But yeah, that's fine. The other good news is we can start making progress here on the Shadow Chamber projects. I think both researches are definitely totally fair and can be done in time. Just need to f uh, find out where these locations will be. And with the right uh, timing, we should also be good in order to, um, in order to, uh, to do at least try both of these um, missions, the Golden Path missions. Since we have Golden Path revamp installed, a mod that will put stronger enemies on the Golden Path missions, I'm actually not sure if uh, this is going to be as easy as it uh, as I imagine it to be. So no clue. Uh, we'll we'll figure that out in time, in due course. And yeah, what else? I mean, those two missions will be our lifeline to at least get an avatar at some point, research everything, and maybe then um, um, with a big fat miracle, um, we're going to go and try Waterworld. I mean, I can't see us killing any of the alien rulers with the settings that we do have. At least not on a non-timed mission, on a uh, on a timed mission, on a non-timed mission, maybe. Um, I cannot see us winning a lot of normal missions, uh, maybe non-timed again. Uh, supply rates might be an exception here, but yeah, uh, our our margins are going to be quite slim. Three big things that we want to do kill the uh, Chosen, which soon will happen. I, I'm quite confident that I can take her on. Um, we're, I think, barely 10 days out and the Prime team definitely can take her on, although she's immune to melee, but whatever, um, it is okay. We'll still bring Hogbite for numerous other reasons. So uh, we can actually, I think we can actually take her on. On then topic number uh, task number two will be uh, getting the suit and task number three uh, liberating the uh, mm, the portal. Both of these missions might be make or break. I have no idea if we can go through it. We now have the um, uh, the weapon upgrade, the only th uh, the ballistic weapon upgrade. The only things that are missing are technically like individual weapon upgrades for heavy weapons for snipers and um, for shotguns. If I was to be forced to take one out of these, I would potentially take uh, the sniper uh, because everybody else can just use assault rifles. Not optimal, but whatever. It, it uh, does the trick. So we we will need to uh, we will need to uh, see if we can get one more uh, breakthrough. But power wise, we're almost like fully powered up. I don't uh, see a lot of options that are left for us. Um, yeah, maybe we're uh, we're going to get um, another power sync with uh, the heavy weapons that uh, that I'm trying to get on Nemri. But other than that, it's pretty much not going to be any better than what we currently have. Uh, so might as well try to go with what we do have. Uh, we have enough shredding. We do have enough utility items. So I think that's okay. Uh, the only thing that we do not yet have is enough firepower to go through all of the enemies. And I think actually, like, if I would have just played with kind of the normal settings without three times uh, mod size, um, the normal missions would still be doable at this point, but that wouldn't uh, have the Starship Trooper feeling that uh, this campaign was supposed to be. Uh, so you can't be fully truly overrun by bugs if, if you are having a chance to always maw them down. Let me think what, uh, what you uh, think about the current status of uh, the campaign. It's looking dire, but it's um, not the end of uh, the world. There is still a little bit of um, light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks for watching. 
and uh, don't forget to click that like button. Take care and goodbye.